Hello and welcome to more The Dig. In the last episode we uh, got rid of uh, some sort of spider monster. Although it seemed friendly enough and it was probably uh, cattle or something gone wild. Um, and here we are, Brink socked us one good and ran off. Uh, we don't really know where. I'm not really sure if we're supposed to follow him. I guess it's no, because he seems pretty unfriendly and violent. Before I started recording, I just had a quick glance in my inventory to see what we're supposed supposed to do next. Uh, we've got a couple of things here uh, that we've used. I'll sort these out. In fact, uh, we've opened all the doors, I believe. We've used this to get to the tomb. We've got good use from the shovel and the flashlight. I have no idea if we still need the rib cage. Or the scepters. I don't think we need the scepters, but still, we, since we still have them, you never know. I also think we're done with this one. The tusk. Uh, I think we've used the tusk ones, if I can remember. But that's the kind of item, just as the shovel, that kind of pops up into usefulness. These objects have similar symbols, but they don't seem to. That's be actually not what I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, do this. Uh, so this means. The tablet is the only thing we haven't used. I tried using it with Maggie before, but uh, she didn't want it then. I thought she needed it to help her translate the symbols, but then she told me she actually cracked it on her own. So my guess is that she is supposed to have it, like I remembered, but she's supposed to have it after she's get, getting their symbols now right. You can read the library inscriptions. Can you make any sense out of this? Since they didn't even look like the same language to me before. Yeah, exactly. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing. I don't know what that was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole. So that none may enter. Then it tells how to um Pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah, but this one even woman is having a hard time with. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, it might not be vague. It might just be that Maggie's not very uh, smart, uh, or at least not as smart as she thinks she is. So we now have the explanation to this thing and to be honest that did not make me none the wiser oh look the spider thing is actually up there one of that's this place is as creepy as the forest behind my house when i was a kid oh yeah he actually commented on that that's the great uh okay i'm pretty sure we're done here in the nest. Actually, no, wait, never mind. I thought maybe we had the last piece of. I have no idea what this is good for. This seems like an area that's completely unused, and I just refuse to believe that's the case. Well, there's nothing really to interact with here yet, at least. Maybe something will happen here later. Wait for me while I check out the top of the falls. Okay, so we've got Maggie with okay, us. But don't now. take too long. She won't come with us up here, maybe she's afraid of heights or whatever. I don't think there's anything here. So let's head back. The hell is he there? I'm back. Yeah. So let's go here. Yeah. We can't go down here, I think. But I've been wrong about shit like that before like the way I found this nest in the first place. I just assume you couldn't go further to the left in this room. But I was clearly wrong about that. Mm, so yeah, I am actually and Oh Christ. Never mind. That's not what I wanted to click. I'm not entirely sure where to go, so I'm gonna head back to the Nexus and see if that makes me if I, that makes sparks any memories for me 
I was kind of hoping we would have the last piece for the final door that we need to open, but we don't, as far as I know. We've done this bit, we've got to the different spires. And that, and that, and uh, I have no idea where we'll stumble onto Brink. Let's check this out. Because this is the final door we need to open, so we need the final piece. Oops. Uh, yeah, and I don't have it. So I, th I think oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run around. Just... Okay. You can touch those. About to see them blink. I wonder if that's part of a puzzle. Always when there's a little cutscene you should actually pause to think for a bit because that could easily be a cutscene. But yeah, I'm gonna walk around and see what I've missed because somewhere is the final piece for the alcove and that's what we need. So I'll see you in a while and is having a hard time with. Okay, I managed to find this uh, place. I don't think I've been here before. I'll show you. Like It's in this area, but you can go over here rather than go over to the tram. I I don't think I noticed this before, at least this doesn't look familiar. I'm not sure if this will help me out in any way though, so this might just be a short impasse. A light that doesn't seem real. Oh, that's great. As if it's just on the edge of existence. It makes me think of something. Something I saw earlier. Or maybe I read it. Okay. Something you've read? Either it's in the library. Or it's part of the. It's actually part of Can the tablet. This inscription, Maggie. Because that would be awesome. Does it say anything that might help? I spent way too much time just walking around. I went to the tomb spire. I went it talking to Brink. Before, but now I can see. I thought the hole was maybe the tomb, so I went down Frost. looking there. It exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? This it's part I don't actually sense. remember at all. Now it makes perfect sense. At least not this thus far. I might when I just twist this. Uh, whatever happens, happens. Brink doesn't want to talk to me, by the way. Not that I thought he would. Okay. So simple when you read the directions. Yeah. If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. And that's where you're wrong, because it clearly has not... Okay, uh, well at least I've found something, and I'm assuming it's going to lead me forward, because I haven't been here before. Although... This island was brought back from another dimension. I must say I'm not even entirely sure what I'm supposed this, this to back do right now. Dimension. Oh, there's an opening actually. Cool. Oh my god, that's right, what I was, was looking so for... They left us exact instructions on how to get here. I was looking Maybe for the next piece. And that's exactly what we found. That is nice. And just so much time clicking around and what all you need to do is carefully scour that's each scene. Point. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. That's what I think. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. Exactly. Always. If you had been Little Miss Sunshine. Monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But Maybe you if you had paid more attention. And, and your hair looks terrific. Again. Not insisted on being alone. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We'd better go find Brink again. Why? In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. 
Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. <laughs> She's a bit of a prick. An armed like expedition. I've said. There's no but so is Brink, we'll so she has a point. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. I'm but sure he wants to be left, him. though. Worse than the monster. Yeah, I the agree. Just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter. More is he, though? We're smart, too. Let's go. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, so yeah, I'll cut quickly until we're over at Brink. That shouldn't... No, actually. Well, that was I... a powerful one. Oh, okay. Commander Lowe, can you hear oh, me? Good thing I haven't cut yet. Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Oh, now you need Where my help. You? It's near one of the light bridges. An arched bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Okay. Hold tight. We're on our way. Hold tight. Very funny. Okay. It's funny how he wants our help now, but he almost refused. Well, he did flat out refuse to help Robbins. Um, I'm guessing we're going to check out all the light bridges. He's going to be at one of them. So... Uh, this is where we were, right? Let's check out the museums. What did it say? Under a waterfall? Uh, crevice? That doesn't actually... Oh, wait, we have a waterfall here. Could it be over here? That waterfalls... Oh, <laughs> there we actually, we have a crevice. Oh, look at that. Oh, I remember this place, of course. You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. And why did you put your hand in there anyway? Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. Yeah, exactly. I was reaching for a life crystal. And then the rock shifted. But you know where there are my shit tons of life is crystals. Cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here. Even if you have to cut off my hand. Oh, I think where this is. Don't I know where this is going. Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Well, they're clearly hinting towards something. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. It's not really a race, that will take a while. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Uh, I think we do. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brank. But human teeth can't bite through bone. Really? I After always assumed they could. Happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Yeah, Do I'd agree. Commander. Do it now. Well, okay. Uh, this is probably one of the less uh, child-friendly scenes in this game. So let's see, what do we have that could cut off a hand? My guess is this sore looking thing, which I actually think... Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Uh, I want to remember that when you pick it up, he kind of mentions that it looks like a soul. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this is what we're supposed to use. So I'm sorry, Brink, but I'm not sorry. Yeah, this is pretty horrible. You better close your eyes, Maggie. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander. Well, Brink doesn't seem to mind. Brace yourself, Brink. Oh god. I don't even want to watch this. <coughs> oh. I Look, it's even grayer than before. Pain without fainting. I'm fine. But I need more crystals. Come with us to the triangle matrix. We've got all the metal plates. You think it's gonna take us home? 
But we don't actually have a clue. It's going to take you? Exactly. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Yeah, you'd be pretty lonely here. You want to stay here forever. Then no food. What will to research into the life crystals. No toilet. No shower. Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out this metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? I'll be happy to bring. You agree, we have a deal. I don't want agree. to interfere with you in the first place. All right, all right. Okay. Apparently we're doing this uh, cutscene wise. Don't even have to lift a finger. That's pretty nice of the game. And click. No click. I actually do have to put it in. In case, you know, it's very difficult to figure out where it needs to go. That I'm actually not entirely sure what happens here. Well, this is going to be interesting for me as well. What's happening? Nothing is happening. That's what. Something's happening. Oh yeah, of course the door's going to open. I could have guessed that. That's much. not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? No, I but... I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? It did last time, the kinda. The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You I'll be happy to, Brink. And I expect you to keep it. Yep. I think we will. He is definitely insane. No, he's kind of got reason is to. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person. Yeah. So, at least we finally got this door open and I am curious to see what's on the other side because I can't really remember this part of the game like I mentioned before. Uh, not like well in advance. I remember some parts when as I see them. But anyway, we're going to check that out in the next part, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then.